They're a joke. That's my point. I mean, I, I hear the points about all, all those things, but you might as well just do tunnel ball. Right, let's, have, let's have a tunnel ball game. See who's going to get the ball. How good was tunnel ball? <laughs> what a good I can't see you playing tunnel ball. Guys, scrums, what do we think of them? Do they have a place in the modern game? I think they, they need to um, take it more seriously because the scrum is a great position. You have so much space. Obviously, you've got you know, all the guys in the scrum. They should be doing plays off the scrum. Now, rugby unions still yep. do the scrum, very serious about it. In league, they just if, if you're a coach, you'd go, you know, guys, Let's tighten up in the scrum. Let's become, a, like, you know, like, not so loose. And let's play off it. Number eight, the guy at the back, pick it up. Use the halfback. That's an extra man. Boom, straight away. You've... I think Melbourne Storm would probably have the best scrum manoeuvres. You know, they don't use, they don't use it. Inside ball and, you know, exactly. someone quick at they, they, lock, score, but, they, they score easily off yeah. the scrum. But I think I've seen a penalty out of because someone pushed too hard. Yeah, I know. Get, I say get rid of them. Get rid of the scrums. Flick them. The game's yeah. fast. You need a scrum. As a forward, you need this somebody to go and have a bit of a lay down and, and you know, stop sucking the worms out the grass, go in there and pat your mate. In the, no, but I just want a bit more contest. I want to be able to and put the, you know, they say put the ball in the middle. It never goes in the middle. If you're going to keep the scrum, like get rid of it or, or get a serious. That's what I'm saying. This, yeah. this feeding business, right, like just it's a joke. Like we're a laughing stock. I used, there was nothing more exciting, right, in the old days right, where there'd be scrum in, in the opposition's quarter. You know, they'd feed it and incorrect feed. I love that. How do you even judge that incorrect feed? Oh, the differential. Like, the dip, well, feed in the, the second row. You know, Back then we could wear proper studs. Like we're talking 21 yeah, mil studs. I've got the size of my feet. I've got size 15 feet, but I had the 21 mil studs. But my thing was, as you said, the, the halfback had to get in close and put the ball in the middle. Yeah. And my thing is, well, most times they're, they're um, line kickers, so Rick is short. Tried and treading his right foot. <laughs> Mate, puts him off his game, yeah. And he'd be, going, be jumping like this. Well, the you lock him in, yeah, you lock him in. The only one that came in was a Kiwi, was a bow mate, was um, Gary Freeman. Gary Freeman. I yeah. stopped him and he started throwing punches, so we brought him in and we just punched the <laughs> shit out of him. No, Mate, you know what happens now? It's who's got the Louis Vuitton, who's got the Chanel back. Is that that's all this? point. It's and embarrassing, get, mate. Get rid of them, that's my point. Hey, all, they, all they do, the old, remember the old, remember they grab them and they just hit them like in the chin? Yeah, yeah. Mate, I mean, I, I hear the points about all, all those things, but you might as well just do tunnel ball. Right, let's, yeah. have, let's have a tunnel ball game. See who's going to get the ball. How good was tunnel ball? <laughs> what, how good was <laughs> it? I can't it's see you But if the coach, if there was a, yeah. I'm not saying they're not smart, but if there was a coach out there that used his brain a little bit, uh, you ability does it, but smart. use the scrum yeah. as a way to score tries. And, and they can't bind because they're, they're, when they're in a scrum, the only thing they're thinking about is like breaking as quick as you can so you I'm can talking defend. about the attacking team. Scrums, get rid of them? Yeah. Hmm? How what would you put? What would you do? Tunnel ball. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the captain's challenge involved in rugby league. I don't know what you guys think of it, but in general as well about how the game's being officiated, not to bag the refs, but there's, it's a lot different to say in your day, Spud, when it was played, it was just two touchies and a ref. Now, there's so much more to it. What do we think the direction it's heading? Oh, it's a massive change. Um, do you like it? No, I don't. I will say for the captain's challenge, you've got the BMI that you've done. Yeah. I think there needs to be an IQ test done before the start of the season. And if you're below that threshold, you are yeah. banned for the entire year for getting but involved get in filtered. any captain's Don't they speak to the captain and then the captain has to say it? Does. Yeah, but so what, what, we're say, what we're saying, the prop and winger should not speak. But I'm just saying, the only time maybe a front yeah. rower should do, the bit of a game change, changer, if, if the game is, they're getting on top of you, we'll just have a captain's challenge, make sure the front rower does it. And then it will slow everything down. In the second half. Don't burn it no, in the first half. No, not in the half. first half, only in the second half, yeah. yeah. So there's my problem. So it is being used tactical, right? Like they're saying, oh, we need a breather here. Just have it. You just know what's hard at the moment, too? The HIA thing, right? Mm. There's mate, a badge of honour when I was coming through, mate, you knock it you're like that. You just move like that, they take you off the field these days. You know, we used to go, <laughs> yeah, yeah. smelling salts, put the smelling salts. But actually, have you ever done the HIA? Have you ever done the test? No, None never. of the questions. I'm going to hit it with you, right? Name the months of the year backwards. Yeah, that's... No, not let him have a crack. Have oh, a crack, geez. go. December. Quicker, mate. Like December, quicker, November, man. October, September, August, July, Ooh, June. Um, but you concussed. 
up, it's concussed. I don't think so. That is one of the I, I April, can't do it either. I'm not even concussed. Like, you got to think, yeah, wow. Uh, no captain's challenge for you, ever. I'd like to see the refs banned from asking, do you want a challenge? That's right. Everyone is acutely aware by now that you can challenge if yeah, you want yeah. a challenge. They don't need to be asked. It's almost like the referee is leading them down a path of, I reckon I got that wrong. Go on. I think you should challenge. You think so? I don't, I'm, I'm not sure about that. They're saying, they're saying, stop arguing. Like, you want to challenge it or not? I, I, I if I do it, why say anything? Just is, go and do the next thing in the game. game. But who's bringing that someone in his ears? Probably. The squirrels tell him? Probably. Ask the question. Ask yeah. the question. Ask it like they got a challenge. Trying, they want it. I think the referee's trying to help, though, Adam. Like, it's like Adam Maguire, who wants to be a millionaire. Yeah. He goes, is that your final answer? <laughs> yeah. The person goes, no, D. And they change their mind because Eddie's so saying, but you in, know, like the referee's the same thing. Until you're, you're Eddie starts it. getting a whistle in his mouth so. and has a frigging fluoro top on, leave that to Eddie. The refs just ref yeah. the game. We are getting better. We are getting better with the game, but now the, uh, the taking that corner post out. But I the camera angle is great. But what they should do is put the old, um, you know, the, when the, in cricket, the snicko, put it in the ball. Put a snicko in there. So actually, when it hits the line or it might be short, it comes up. We should put sensors in the grass. Sense in the grass. <laughs> Mate, I think you've been smoking too much. Mate. <laughs> Good thing about talking about the most passionate fans is there will be all these comments below this video of people blowing up saying that they're not the most passionate, we are the most passionate. So this is going to set off a conversation. But for you guys, but start with you because you've actually been out there. If I go back, South Sydney, by a long way. You have them on the hill there, you got the burrow. But the scary thing for me was I ended up going to play for Manly and they found out I was going to Manly. Also, they found out where my car was. And put it this way, when I got the car, it wasn't as clean as what it was when I left it. What about you, lads? Well, I'm a Parramatta boy, so, um, you know, Parramatta, uh, they're very passionate. I'll tell you how passionate they were when they, when they burnt down the stadium. There you go. And Cumberland. That's passion. Cumberland Oval. Get us a new oval. They're yeah. arsonists. They're not passionate. <laughs> yeah, bulldogs, okay. mate. Bulldogs. Yeah, but the Bulldogs only come out passionate. when they make the finals. But I, I say Bulldogs, passionate. Rabbitohs, I see. They did a big march. I get that. Parramatta, I'm not sure about Parramatta. I don't think so. Parramatta just come out when they're winning as well. So can I, when it comes to passion, do you feel it's being killed a bit in the game? Do you feel the system... No. Is not allowing fans to be as loud. I mean, I remember the Bulldogs we used to turn up with drums and I mean you look at soccer, I look at soccer as an example. Yeah. You stop the crowds and that mm. that loudness and that passion. Yeah, uh, the life gets sucked yeah. out of it. And then what happens is people like, it, it, bums on seats start to reduce, people aren't enjoying that atmosphere at a game. I love atmosphere. I, I always think maybe if you look back the eighties and yeah, mainly the 80s when I was coming through and just, the, I was, like I said, I was a Paramount supporter. I think you'd think of the uh, the Dragons back then. They were so passionate. They had a bike, what was his name? The Skull. He used to be at the front. How do you define passionate? Is passionate the North Queensland fan that drives six hours to go and watch their team every That's weekend? True. Or is it passionate the person who goes online and uh, in big capital letters just writes out well, the yeah. whole time? I love the passionate supporter gets there and he's full kit. There's a guy from Canterbury Bulldogs LA who's like this. He has his blue and white face. Yeah, yeah, yeah we know that guy. Mate, yeah, it's yeah. incredible. The wizard or something. Mate, he's there like at 11.30. The game kicks off at 3. I said, mate, what are you doing? He just stands there like that. Love you know? Yeah, yeah. Manly fans aren't passionate. They're, they're passionate in a different way, in a non-verbal way. They're, well, just, they're, they're passionate of their district, yeah. where they're they from, are. their area. Because they won't travel. They won't. They won't, they won't pay the $3 to, to go across the Harbour Bridge. That's right. It's a bargain. It's a bargain. So you say Manly fans are not passionate? Not hugely, I wouldn't say. Only passionate for their home, home grounds. Home grounds. Yeah, just passionate for their area and passionate they about living travel. where they live. Souths are passionate. I give them that. Yeah. Para. You tick but the can box. I say, let's let's when, let's compare Grand Final week, okay, and look at the clubs when it's Grand Final. Yeah. I, I must say, is the that the true indication of passion? I is think it? so. The, yeah. the true indication. But obviously, is like, everyone comes out of the woodwork. You know, it's they're not the die-hard fans. They're the ones yeah. that just want to party and have a great time, but. The Bulldogs on a grand final week, that street. You get I've never blue seen anything like pies. it. Mm. Can I that, give you a tip? That's a good indication. Can I give you a tip? Yep. It won't be this year. Exactly. <laughs> you never know. 